Hey everybody and welcome to a new video on eSampley Art. In today's video we're going to be doing some painting on some wood pieces. Uh, it's actually for St. Patrick's Day which is coming up and I figured why not do a St. Patty's Day themed video. Hey everybody it's future me here. I apologize for the delay in this video. I was going to release it hopefully the week before St. Patrick's Day or on St. Patrick's Day but uh, that did not happen due to me just being very busy right now. Um, so I apologize again for the delay and hope you still enjoy the video. Now let's keep going. So I came across this um, St. Patrick's Day uh, craft project that had some nice wooden shamrock pieces that I thought would be really fun to paint on. So uh, I want to take them out and figure out how I want to use them. They have it in like, you know, a horizontal hanging garland style. I think I want to do them more vertically. So I'll figure out which pieces I want to use from this kit. And then I'm going to obviously have to gesso them to be able to paint on them correctly. And after that, we'll have to look and see what we want to do. And uh, let's just go from there, shall we? So I'm just taking these different shamrock pieces, figuring out which ones I want to use, and then I'm uh, just, you know, gessoing them up with this white gesso so they'll be uh, ready and prepped for painting. Uh, I probably should have sanded them down. Uh, I noticed as I was painting that uh, they were a little rough, so um, in all in all, you really should sand down wood pieces uh, before you gesso them, and I forgot to do that. Okay, so I have gessoed the front and back of my wood shamrock pieces. Now it's a matter of just painting them the green colors that I want them to be. I have pulled out three of these uh, green Liquitex acrylic colors that I liked. Now it's just a matter of me uh, choosing which shamrock gets which color and then painting those maybe in a couple of coats letting it dry and then we get to decorate. So March, uh, if you do not know, is National Craft Month. Uh, I believe this is a perfect video for that because I get to do a little bit of painting, which is something I've been wanting to do anyway. And I'm also creating a craft. Uh, and craft is art and art is craft. That is, uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's an actual saying, but um, I believe that is true. So uh, yeah, I'm just painting these shamrocks uh, different shades of green that I liked. Um, the little mini shamrock at the bottom, I actually mixed some of the uh, darker green and the kind of tealy green together um, to get the kind of faded back green color that I ended up with that one. The other two uh, larger shamrocks, I just used the color straight from the tube. Uh, it's like a darker hunt green, hunter green, and the other one's just like a um, kind of a brighter Kelly green. These are all Liquitex basic uh, acrylic paints that I am using, uh, and I'm using a little plastic paint palette. So now I'm beginning doing the decorating of my shamrocks. I'm using uh, mostly my white Posca pins and a yellow Posca pin that I have. Uh, I also use a Plum Chester green uh, paint marker that I found that I had in my stash later on. I kind of uh, sketched off, off to the side is a little sketch, you don't see it on screen, that I did uh, to kind of figure out how I wanted to decorate uh, the little shamrocks. Uh, so I'm doing each of the larger ones with the letter L-U-C-K to spell out luck and then just the little one will have just like little decorative little shamrocks and stuff on it but the outline, the, um, the outside of the shamrock will be decorated just like the letter ones. The letter K, I didn't, I forgot to check out where the holes where you have to put the string through to hang them was. And so I kind of messed up where the K was supposed to be placed on that and ended up having to paint over the letter K and redo that one later on. Mm -hmm. 
I also had to touch up the L with a little bit of the dark green paint because uh, using the Posca pen, because I didn't sand the pieces down, uh, little bits of the wood were sticking up. And so when the Posca pen would go over, it would like splatter uh, the white paint from the paint marker onto the side. So I had to kind of touch that up and clean it a little bit. Yes, yeah, so on this little one, I'm using uh, this Plum Chester paint marker that I had and also the uh, metallic kind of green blue color Posca uh, paint marker that I had as well to draw some little shamrocks and stuff as decoration on the little shamrock. So now it's about putting all the pieces together. Uh, the little kit came with like a piece of twine to use to actually make your uh, hanging garland. Um, but obviously I'm using it a little differently. Uh, so it became a bit challenging. The top letter, the L, was fine. But trying to get the other pieces to hang with the, you know, uh, to hang vertically the way I wanted to do was a little bit, you know, difficult. And I had to go back and string and restring a few times uh, to get everything to kind of line up correctly. Um, but, you know, granted this kit was made for being a horizontal garland, not a vertical one like I'm doing. In the end, I used a little bit of washi tape to kind of hold the string in place in the back behind the uh, shamrocks so they would kind of hang correctly. I'll definitely have to go back and uh, secure those more properly so it'll hold. All right, everybody. So here is the final product. Uh, I think it turned out pretty well. I like how it hangs. Um, I might have to do a little bit more securing on the back with the string. Um, there are probably different ways I could have done it, but I wanted to use only the stuff that came in the actual craft kit to, you know, put it together uh, as much as possible. Uh, obviously using a little bit of washi tape to kind of secure the string on the back. I may have to use a little bit of hot glue to kind of really keep those strings in place. Other than that, uh, I really am happy with uh, how it turned out. My paints worked really well. I'm really happy at how they painted. Like I said, I probably should have sanded down the pieces more. I think the paint would have been a little bit more smooth, um, wouldn't have been so rough. Um, on the edges, but despite all of that, I'm still really happy with um, how the paint painting worked out with painting them and also using my paint markers. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video, give it a nice thumbs up down below and feel free to hit the notification bell or the red subscribe button somewhere down here. And that will let you know when I have new videos that are coming out on the channel. Of course, if you want to follow more of my artistic journey, you can always do so on Instagram or Twitter at E Stampley Art. Obviously, I'd love to say happy National Crafting Month. And uh, if you want to let me know what stuff you're crafting this month, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys are working on. And as always, I'd love to thank you for tuning into my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.